Hey everyone, in the news this week. It was children in need this weekend when millions tune in to watch the BBC show and as always tuning in with particular interest were the Metropolitan Police keen to make sure their shortlist is up to date for which BBC stars to keep an extra close eye on. I remember when I was a kid and a policeman came into school and gave a talk on drugs. Nobody could understand a word he said because he was high as a kite. Everton fans were seen wearing gloves and scarves this week because it was minus 10 at Goodison Park. That's a joke about the points deduction the team faced for breaching financial rules. Minus 10 points is a lot though, normally it would take the team several weeks to achieve that on the pitch. But of course the big news story was David Cameron back in Westminster after Rishi Sunak brought him back as a Hail Mary attempt at appearing competent. David Cameron is of course known for his dodgy business dealings with China, unpopular with normal voters, he'll alienate the grassroots membership, he's dogged by the Greensill scandal, be unaccountable for the House of Commons owing to him being in the Lords, and of course will annoy all of the backbench MPs, 349 of them who by definition weren't good enough to be offered the job themselves. His past foreign policy experience was trying to get the UK involved in a land war in Syria, that's a parliamentary vote he repeatedly lost. And then of course there was the Brexit vote, where he comprehensively failed to persuade Brussels to offer any concessions to help him win the vote, before having the referendum anyway but promising to stay on if he won then losing it and immediately resigning because he was too lazy or pig-headed to admit he'd been wrong on it the whole time. I say pig-headed, there are of course a number of obscene pig jokes I could make, but my kids might be listening, so I won't. To counter criticism though, Rishi's been on the offensive and coming out with strong policy announcements almost every day. Almost on Monday, almost on Tuesday, almost on Wednesday, etc. You get the point. Talk about Europe and something to lighten the mood though. There's a new Napoleon film coming out and it looks bloody awesome. Can Napoleon bring in a good box office return? Of course I can. Get it? Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.